This is the build your girl told you not to worry about. This secondary ball handling guard can do it all. This build gets contact dunks. All legend shooting badges, including mini marksmen. It gets on ball minutes and challenger on Hall of Fame. Glove and interceptor on gold. And all the best SIGs with a 92 ball handle. This build is so good it'll make you forget all about Uncle Shannon and good old Michelle. Now let me show you how to make it. So position is up to you. I made this a secondary option to handle the rock because it has a lower pass accuracy. It doesn't have a super high pass accuracy, but it's also not terrible either. Now, whether you want to run this at point guard or shooting guard is totally up to you. It's a secondary ball handler. So I'm not sure how 2K is doing the position this year, like based off on if, you know, if you pick shooting guard, will you get matched up with small forwards or whatnot? But we can just keep it at point guard, but it's really a shooting guard. So for the height, you want to go six foot three. The weight, you want to bring this up, man. Bring this up to 215 pounds and then the wingspan you want to drop this down to six foot three i told you this build can do it all now we're going to go ahead and start off with the physicals man if you've seen the build video you know i like to get the physicals taken care of and then we're going to work everything else out from there so the speed you want to take this up to an 85 your agility you want to take this up to an 84 your strength max this bad boy out to a 91 man now all of these numbers will make sense in a second and these badges will start going up also and lastly, put the vertical at a 78. Now we're going to go back up to the top and work our way down to the bottom. Your close shot, you want to put this up to a 74. So not too bad for a shooting guard. Your driving layup is pretty solid, man. You want to take this up to an 80. Your driving dunk. I told you this build gets contact dunks, man. You get pro contact dunks. You want to bring your driving dunk all the way up to an 89. So with that 89 driving dunk and the 78 vertical, you will get contact dunks. Now, your standing dunk, this build gets standing dunks. This 40 standing dunk will give you a standing dunk package. So that's why the standing dunk is at a 40. You know, I was thinking of everything with this build. Post control, you wanna bring your post control up to a 70. So you already see you have the strength. And as we fill out our shooting, our badges in the post will also go up. So you'll be able to hit some post phase on some guards that's trying to guard you. A lot of people went into 25 thinking that you don't need strength on your bill and they were sadly mistaken. Strength really does matter this year, man. And is you will see it on the court. Your mid range, you wanna take this up to an 84. Three point shot, take this up to a 94. I told you this build gets all legend shooting badges and it's gonna make sense. I'm gonna break it all down for you. Your free throw goes up to a 77. So not too bad on the free throw. Definitely hittable, get you a solid free throw like Steph Curry or something like that, something easy to time. Your pass accuracy, you wanna take this up to a 70, man. So you got bronze, dimer, your teammates are just gonna have to knock down their shots. We needed the extra attribute points to put them in other places. For your ball handle, you wanna take this up to an 88. Your speed with ball, you could drop this down to a 78. Now, getting to the defense, leave that interior alone at a 61. You wanna come right here to your perimeter, man. Take this up to a 91. Now, we got some other attributes we need to take away from offensive rebounds. Bring that down to a 30. Keep the defensive rebound at a 51 and then keep your block at a 41. Then you wanna put the rest on your steal. That'll take you to a 91 steal. So, just looking down at the list, man, let's break this down so you can see how good this build is. You get float game on silver, okay? That's pretty solid. Now, moving on, that driving dunk, that got you aerial wizard on gold. You get physical finisher on silver, and then you also have layup mix master on bronze. Of course, if you want to make changes wherever you feel necessary, man, tweak the build to your liking to make sure it fits your play style. If you're somebody who doesn't really care to dunk, take the dunk down, put it on your driving layup, get layup mix master on gold or hall of fame or something. You know what I'm saying? Tweak it how you want to, but we got the driving dunk, so we get posterizer on silver. Like I said, we get that standing dunk, and then now we got our post control. Like I told y'all, we got post fade phenom on silver. So you playing up against another guard and you know they don't have strength, you can utilize that 91 strength and that silver post fade phenom and you can work out the post a little bit unpluckable we get that on silver but that'll change mid-range shot man we got all of the shooting badges on gold every single one of them from dead eye all the way down to shifty shooter we got mini marksman everything is on gold but they will go to legend i'm gonna explain that with the cap breakers pass accuracy we already explained that look at what that 91 strength gives us bro that gives us strong handle on hall of fame we get ankle assassin on silver with handles for days and unpluckable also on silver. And then we get silver lightning launch. Now going down to the defense, you can see, man, we get on ball minutes, gold, pick dodger, gold. 
We got Immovable Enforcer on Hall of Fame with Challenger on Silver to start off with Off Ball Pets. This build can literally do everything you would need it to do. And since strength is actually important this year, why would you want to have a high perimeter and steal with no strength to take advantage of that high perimeter, man? Immovable Enforcer is going to help you out a ton on defense. Go Glove and Go Interceptor. I don't even have to explain that. Our speed gets a slippery off ball on goal. So like I said, it's a secondary ball handler. So I'm going to be able to use that slippery off ball and you know get open and that's the breakdown of everything man now let's get into these cap breakers and show you what this build is going to turn into after you apply cap breakers now i do want to note something that is very very important here when you apply cap breakers there's still a lot of people out there who don't understand how cap breakers work so first of all in this screen right here well, you want to pay attention to your max potential because for cap breakers, you cannot apply cap breakers to an attribute and have it exceed what is right here in the max potential setting. So let's just say somebody wanted to get a 99 ball handle on a build with their cap breakers. My ball handle does not say 99. It just says 97. So I cannot apply cap breakers to that to get to a 99. The highest I could get to is a 97 with cap breakers so that's one thing that people don't understand second thing that people don't understand is with the cap breakers you need to make sure that whatever badge and attributes that you are seeking to get with your cap breakers that you have the other necessary attributes that you need to have in order to get that so for example right here with shifty shooter i told y'all this build gets all legend shooting badges if I want to get Shifty Shooter on Legend, I need to have an 82 agility. Well, if you look down below, my agility is an 84, so that'll be covered already. So I will be able to get Shifty Shooter on Legend. Here's another example. When I use my cap breaker to get Hall of Fame on ball menace, because I told y'all this build gets on ball menace and challenger on Hall of Fame, and that's after I apply cap breakers to it. So for on ball menace on Hall of Fame, I need to have an 84 agility. I'm right there at that threshold. So I will be able to get my on ball menace on Hall of Fame. If I had anything lower than an 84 and tried to apply five cap breakers to my perimeter defense, and I didn't have that 84 agility to match, I would not be able to get on ball menace on Hall of Fame. So y'all need to make sure you have all of the necessary attributes for the badges that you are trying to get. An easy way to do this, man, you wanna go over to nba2klab.com. They have it all laid out there for you, man. They have animation requirements, they have badge requirements, they have a bunch of different tools that you can use. So please, when y'all make y'all bills, make sure you have everything that you need to get what it is that you want. So you don't end up pissed down on the line and waste your cap breakers or you done wasted your money on that entire build and you can't get what you wanted to get because you didn't make it right all right so back to the cap breakers man like i said we get all legend shooting badges so with my cap breakers the first set of cap breakers i am putting on this build is plus five to my three-pointer and that will get me to a 99 three-point shot which will get me all of these shooting badges on legend every single one of them the next set of cap breakers that i am going to add will be to my perimeter defense I will put five cap breakers on perimeter defense. That'll give me up to a 96 perimeter defense, which I need to get on ball menace on Hall of Fame and challenger on hall of fame it says a 92 right there for gold if you go look on nba2klab.com you can see what the requirement is for challenger on hall of fame the requirement is a 95 perimeter defense i will end up having a 96 so i'm good and the last set of cap breakers for this build will go on my ball handle as you can see my ball handle is an 88 and when i put that last five cap breakers on it it'll go up to a 93 which will get me ankle assassin on gold handles for days on gold and i will also get unpluckable on gold not to mention the 93 ball handle will unlock all of the good animations that i get on 92 ball handle trey young steph curry escape all the good stuff so this build is absolutely tough it's tough in every single area on the court man and like i said you want to take advantage of strength this year because it's very important it makes no sense to have a high perimeter defense and not have a useful badge like a movable enforcer to clamp people up and get really bumpy on defense having that strength locks have seen a huge difference this year when it comes to strength if you're a lock who tried to go a little bit lower on your strength and a guard so happens to have more strength than you and they have strong handle at a good high tier then they were getting blown by they weren't getting the bumps that they're used to getting because that guard has that strength strong handle on hall of fame is crazy on this build 
and a movable force in our hall of fame not to mention you still have your max plus one so you can use your max plus one and get and put glove on hall of fame or you could do interceptor but you would probably want to do glove and then look if you didn't want to do one of those you get a tier two and a tier one max plus one each season you could get on ball minutes on legend because this bill gets on ball minutes on hall of fame once you add the cap breaker to it and you could also get a movable enforcer on legend because that's in tier two essentially this is a three and d type of build that can do everything man legend of movable enforcer and legend on ball minutes would go absolutely crazy on this build and you have legend shooting badges to go with it and then each season you can differentiate which badges you want to use your max plus one on you'll have once you unlock the cap breakers you'll get ankle assassin on gold you could put ankle assassin on hall of fame if you wanted to get more ankle breakers which a max plus one or you could do something even crazier and put strong handle on legend you know what i'm saying the and the possibilities are endless you got a bunch of different options that you can use your max plus one on with this build so once you look at the shades man i'm not a huge fan of the shades that this build got because i don't think it does it justice for everything that this build is going to be able to do now i am excited to see once i add the cap breakers to it to see what the build will turn into because when you change your build when you add cap breakers to your build it can change your build name also so i'm curious to see what the name will change to if any and then see if it might get some different shades if it lets us even see that but hopefully the build name changed to something a, a lot more better but two-way three level shot creator ain't bad either so i hope you guys enjoyed the video man let me know what you think about this build down in the comment section below if you got any different tweaks or anything you will make to the build or you'll put your cap breakers in a different spot use your max plus one somewhere else let me know what you would do with this build down in the comment section if you're still struggling with shooting in nba 2k25 and you need some tips to get out of that slump man you'll definitely want to check out this video and if you still don't know how to get a 99 stamina you'll definitely want to watch this and figure out how you can get your permanent 99 stamina with that being said man i hope you guys enjoy be sure to stay safe out here and i will catch you guys in the next one peace